responsible drivers going through downtown Kansas City need to prepare for some highway shutdowns and delays that will start in just a few weeks. Yeah, Fox Force John Pepitone is live near the Buck O'Neill Bridge to show us. John? Yeah, that's right, Kim. You know, this is going to be a huge highway headache that will impact every driver who is heading downtown or traveling through the downtown loop. Now, the Missouri Department of Transportation says the west side of the downtown loop is going to close in March for northbound traffic only. Northbound travelers on I-35 will be able to exit downtown at 12th Street, but most traffic is going to be funneled onto I-670, the south part of the loop. If you need to cross the river, you're going to have to travel through the south, east, and north legs of the downtown loop to reach the Buck O'Neill Bridge here, which will remain open in both directions. Now, this detour is going to remain in place from March through December. Um, it's really about planning ahead and knowing where exactly the closures are going to be, the detours. Um, you know, I think the hard thing is always the first few days you take a knee detour. Um, after that, you kind of figure the route out and maybe alternative routes. Um, but definitely those pay attention to when we say, okay, the closure's coming in this place. That next rush hour have I planned and really looked at and thought about what's going to happen. Now, southbound traffic is going to be able to continue to use the west side of the downtown loop this year, but that's going to change next year. This major closure of the downtown loop is necessary to allow for construction of a direct connection from the northbound lanes of the west loop to the northbound 169 highway. That's the new bridge crossing. It also will allow workers to rehab the northbound lanes of the west loop to the westbound bridge that heads on to I-70. Now there's also going to be work taking place on downtown streets in this area, including 4th Street and Beardsley Road. The new Buck O'Neill Bridge still is expected to be completed and ready for traffic by the fall of 2024. Pat, Kim. All, All right. right. John, John Pepitone Pe live. Thank you.